new technologies are changing industrial practice and thus the skills that professionals need to acquire today. For example, the qualifications of a mechatronics technician from 15 years ago can no longer be compared with those of mechatronic apprentices who will complete this apprenticeship in 2021. The job title may have remained the same, but the requirements have not. They have changed fundamentally as digitization has progressed, and they still do. In general, we are seeing a clear shift in many job profiles towards information technology. A mechatronics technician may not have had anything to do with the networking of a wide variety of modules, systems or even plans a few years ago, but now deals with it on a daily basis. Topics such as connectivity and communication, IT security and PLC programming, but also artificial intelligence and energy management are becoming increasingly important. As a result, traditional topics such as mechanical engineering and automation technologies tend to fade into the background in a relation to them. In addition, knowledge of new business models and agile methods are necessary in order to be well prepared for the challenges of today's industrial working world. These non-technical skills or soft skills such as communication, collaboration, creativity and critical thinking are indispensable today to solve increasingly complex challenges in industry. In many industrial companies, these skills are already needed, but as far as the corresponding qualification is concerned, there is still a need to catch up. There are two main reasons for this. Firstly, the last time professionals received on-the-top training could have been a while ago. And secondly, some of the competencies mentioned are not yet anchored in the new training plans. These procedures tend to take longer and cannot keep up with the speed at which new technologies are becoming established in industry. The result is a skills gap, a difference between the skills that are required in the industry and those that employers actually possess. So what is needed? On the one hand, it's industry competencies to be on the cutting edge of new developments and technologies. On the other hand, you need a didactic strategy as a guideline to be able to impart the necessary competencies. This is precisely why we are developing the curriculum Industry 4.0. In other words, a qualification plan that helps prepare learners for work in a future-oriented industrial environment. With Curriculum Industry 4.0, we can close the skills gap because we give teachers, trainers and production managers a kind of a roadmap. This enables them to accompany learners on their way in a targeted manner and enables them to meet certain requirements of today's Industry 4.0. We are convinced that the essential goal of learning is not just knowledge itself, but genuine action competency. Therefore, our curriculum is supported by suitable learning systems and simulations. After all, only well-trained, highly qualified specialists will later be able to drive innovation and thus help shape the future.